Wisconsin is seeing a lack of jailers in county jails and prisons across the state. WEAU's Melanie Walzer shares how staff at the Eau Claire County Jail are being impacted by the shortage and what's being done to help. According to the Wisconsin Department of Corrections, the state's prisons are dealing with a 32% staff vacancy rate, a trend that's also being seen at the local level. We are budgeted in the 2023 year for 63 correctional officer positions, and we currently are 15 short. Eau Claire County Jail Captain Travis Holbrook says the staffing shortage is nothing new. That has been the trend the last few years, uh, industry-wide. With over 200 inmates in-house daily, corrections officers are forced to take on extra duties. Working different areas, getting plugged around, working short-staffed at times, potentially having to come in on days off, um, working a lot of overtime, stuff like that. Holbrook says working in the jail can be a mentally taxing job, which is why it's hard to find and keep staff. Wage packages that, that will be introduced in 2024 to hopefully uh, retain some people that are already here and lure more people in. We have a hard time competing with the private sector as far as pay goes and benefits. In an effort to recruit and retain jail staff, county jailers were given protective status under state law. It's not as appealing as we were hoping it would be for our staff, but it is still a perk or a benefit. Um, it just will cost them more on the, on the payroll side of things for them to be enrolled in that protective status. The law will go into effect on January 1st, 2024. In Eau Claire, Melanie Walliser, WEAU 13 News. Captain Holbrook says there are currently 13 candidates in various stages of the hiring process, but they are still looking for more applicants. If you're interested in working at the Eau Claire County Jail, details can be found on our website.